Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. At the range now we've got the Springfield Hellcat. Recently introduced by Springfield. Very small and lightweight handgun with a three inch barrel and 11 rounds in the flat base plate magazine. 12 rounds in the gun right now and it weighs 23 and a half ounces with 12 rounds. I think that is pretty incredible. Let's see how it shoots. All right, very nice setup by Springfield. They did a great job with the grip texturing. They call it an adaptive grip texturing. It is fairly aggressive, but not overly aggressive. They say that each of the stipples and the stippling are, are at different heights and so forth. I'm not sure about that, but I will mention that the stippling is throughout the grip and even these memory bumps here where you can put your weak side thumb and your trigger finger so the, the stippling is nice 11 rounds which Springfield claims this is the smallest handgun with the highest capacity in the industry going head-to-head -head with the SIG P365 it does have a flat face trigger with a trigger bar safety in there I measure the trigger poundage at five and a half pounds all right and it's a nice trigger felt felt really nice live shooting and this is the non-OSP model optical optical sight pistol which offers a, a cut slide for an optic this does not have that but what it does have are rear serrations that go all the way around the entire slide it also has front serrations here for the press checks a uh, accessory rail all right so you can put something there and a u dot sight okay it has a u there and you fill in the dot now that is a tritium front dot which is pretty nice and a sight hole indicator so all in all the package is pretty nice also comes with a 13 round mag but i have to say i'm pretty impressed with it and that was my those were my first shots right there so we're gonna load it up and check it out and see how well this Springfield Hellcat performs at the range. Here we have LTEC self-defense loads 124 grain. Springfield Hellcat. Let's slam the mag home, see if it charges the slide. Well, let me do that better. Doesn't look like it. All right, so that's not gonna charge. Let's see how well it fires these self-defense loads. Not bad at all. I have to say that I do like the way that rear U is, and then how you just fill in that front tritium dot that that actually is very vibrant um, I also like to undercut in the trigger guard all right so you can get a high grip on the gun it does have a little beaver tail there makes it nice and it, it is noticeable with this mag here it's the flat base plate it allows for two finger contact the picky just kind of wraps around the bottom of it but it does feel like a full-size I wouldn't say a full-size gun but it doesn't feel like a little subcompact gun. When I did my table review, many of you guys requested that I check out the primer to see if there's any drag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the Hellcat sideways. And what I'm hoping is gonna happen is that the rounds are gonna drop right here and I will show you the primer to see if there's any drag on it. So I'm hoping this works. I'm really not sure as I've never done this before. But let's first see if I can hit the target. Yep. All right. That was pretty cool. Let me see if I can see some of those cases. Here are a couple. I see one anyways. And here is another one. 
and what I am seeing are clean primer strikes. I hope the camera can pick this up. If not, I'll take a picture with my phone and put it on this range review. All right, here we go. Hellcat, regular 115 grain, full metal jacket, lip wrist test. Trying to hit a target here. Oh, I'm coming close. Nothing. Yes, the Hellcat passed. So there it is guys, Springfield Hellcat. It performed well at the range. Everything fed, fired, ejected just fine. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's, it's very small, lightweight, but yet it has very nice capacity for a gun this size. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy it, and I certainly did at the range. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.